My name is Taras Nandyuk, and I present the paper Evaluation of Asymptom Machine Learning Models for Movie Recommendation Systems by Anatoly Sachenko, Taras Nandyuk, Kristina Lipyanina Goncharenko, Vasil Koval, Grigory Vodi, and Yuri Galas. In today's world, where the amount of digital contact is growing every day, the recommendation system plays a key role in helping users find information, products, or services that uh, best suit their interests and needs. Among the various applications of recommendation systems, few recommendation systems are particularly important helping users navigate the vast world of cinema by suggesting films based on their preferences. In recent years, Significant uh, advances in machine learning and assemble models have greatly expanded the capabilities of recommended systems. Algorithms such as Random Forest, AdaBoost, HGBoost, Light, GBM, CatBoost, and Gradient Boosting Machine have demonstrated high performance in classification and regression tasks, taking them additional tools for developing advanced recommendation systems. The, machine, uh, the main ob objective of this research is to evaluate the effectiveness of assembled machine learning models in improving the accuracy of two film recommendations. We aim to investigate how different ensemble models can affect the model's ability to accurately predict users' preferences using was traditional and innovation, innovative approaches to data process and analysis. Creating the evaluating machines learning models for intelligent film selections can be represented as sequential step-by-step -step process that includes the following steps. Step one, data collections. This collection of database with user reviews, films, metadata, uh, metadata, and information of users. Initial data analysis. Step number two. It is descriptive statistics to calculate means, medians, and standard deviations. The mean mu is a fundamental indicator of statistics, which is the arithmetic mean of set of values calculated by dividing the sum of uh, values by the numbers which allows to get the overall uh, central tendency of the data. Visual step 2.2, visual visualize the distributions of sources and ratings. Next is uh, detect anomalies and outliers to identify errors of special cases. Then, processing of missing values through imputation or delay, deleting. Correlations analysis to identify relationship between features. Correlation anal analysis allow to determine the strengths and directions of the relationship between pairs of variables. Then, Future engineering, uh, there are three steps here, coding for of categorical variables using the methods of one hot encoding, label encoding, and binary encoding, then normalization of numerical variables to ensure the same scale and selections of features based on mutual information importance of futures or in models or interactive methods. Uh, step number four, it is preparation data of modeling, which uh, contains three steps, cleaning the data, duplicates and errors, handling missing variables through means uh, imputation or numerical data, which reduce the impact of outliers then split uh, the data into training and test samples. The partitioning can be done using a percentage of a fixed number of records. And then finally, step number five, 
which contains a five sub-steps. Training uh, ensemble models using machine learning algorithms. Validate the models of uh, test data and uh, display the scores and select the best models using the RMC, root mean square error matrix. Optimize uh, the best models using randomized search uh, CV. And finally, diagnose the model uh, using training and validation curves. Random forms is uh, an ensemble machine learning method that use multiple decision trees to achieve higher prediction accuracy that then is uh, possible with a single decision tree. The basic idea is to build a large number of decision trees, each of which contributes to final solution, which provides a high level of accuracy and control over the training. Uh, adaptive boosting met method is a boosting technique that creates a strong classifier by combining mainly weak classifiers. It works by sequentially improving weak classifiers by focusing on cases that have misclassified by prior classifiers. XG boost, uh, boost means extreme gradient boosting is an effective and scalable implementation of gradient boosting. It is it includes a number of optimization for speed and performance, and has uh, built-in tools to preventing overfitting. Light uh, GBM is an uh, efficient implementation of the gradient boosting algorithm that is optimized for speed and performance. Light uh, GBM used uh, histogram based methods to reduce computational and memory consumption, making it particularly useful for processing uh, of large databases. Boost is algorithm that specializes in working with categorical data using special coding uh, techniques to process this type of data without preprocessing. It also includes mechanism to combat overfitting, which allows for stable results. A key feature of Cat Boost is is its habitability ability. Sorry, to automatically handle categorical variabilities, efficiently encoding them and using them to improve model accuracy. Gradient boosting machine is a gradient boosting algorithm that improves predictive power by sequential building decision trees, each of which refines and improves upon previous predictions. Each of these methods contributes to the development of machine learning, enabling large uh, amount of data to be analyzed accurately and efficiently and making important predictions in a variety of applications. To implement the purpose uh, of proposed uh, approach, we choose the movie length 100k uh, dataset developed by Group Length Research, which is a classical dataset for recommended systems that contains about 1,000 of hundreds ratings from almost 100. Uh, of users for one and a half thousand of films. 
the ratings are on scales from one to five, which uh, the, each rating is associated with specific user and film, including timestamp when the rating has made. In addition to ratings, the data say, uh, set includes demographic information about users and metadata about films. To implement the proposed approach, the following parameters were selected from the dataset and used story information about fields and the ratings by users. The graphs show the distribution of films rating that users have left in the dataset. The X axis represents the possible ratings from one to five, where each rating is displayed as a separate column. The Y axis shows the frequency of the rating distribution as a proportion of the total number of ratings. The graph shows that the least popular ratings are one and two, which makes up a smaller proportion of rating given. The rating three has a slightly higher frequency, but a much larger uh, number of users prefer the higher ratings of four and five, with five being the most frequently given rating. Next, we compare the RMCE values for different uh, machine learning research models, all of them. Random forums, other boost, HG boost, live GVM, cut boost, and gradient boosting machine. As the graph showed, the HG boost has the lowest RMC, which uh, <coughs> implicate the indicates higher prediction accuracy compared to other model, uh, models. Live GVM and cut boost also perform competitively with NMC from 0 0.9 to 0 0.19, respectively indicating the effectiveness in the pre prediction tasks. GBM has a slightly higher NMC of 0 0.94, which is better than random forums and other boost with NMC of 1.9. 74 and 1037 respectively. The highest LMC values for random forest and other boost may indicate a lower ability of these models to accurately predict data compared to the other techniques considered. In summary, the study is distinguished by a unical integrated approach that combines approach machine learning techniques to create highly accurate and flexible film recommendation system. Through the use of uh, future engineering data normalization technique and iterative feature selection, our model effectively predict users' preferences based on the region history social demographic data and viewing contents. The use of Ansible models, namely XGBoost, significantly reduced the RMC error, highlighting the importance of the study in development of effective recommendation systems that adapt to diverse using preferences and contents. So, and here you, you, you can see user interface of this system. So, in this study, uh, study we examine the use of Ansible machine learning methods to create an intelligent film selection system that is entirely accurate and adaptive to individual user preferences. The use of future engineering 
data normalization and interactive future selection allows us to improve the model's ability to accurately predict users' interests, taking into account not only the previous rating, but also social demographic information and viewing contents. The implementation of the proposed approach on the movie lens uh, 100k data set has uh, shown its practical applicability and effectiveness. As a result, this study demonstrates that the use of ensemble machine learning methods such as EGBoost combined with careful data preparation and future engineering can significantly improve the accuracy of film recommendation systems. Thank you for your attention.